Just fascinating. Yeah. Hi, welcome oh, hi. Oh. to Cook and Cheat. We were just having a little yeah. conversation, as we often do, chitting the chat, as it were. Twiddling our thumbs while the bread rises. Eh? What? Oh, that really did hurt. <laughs> That's oh. hollow, you know. Oh, it is. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a horn there, Ooh. huh? What? <laughs> It's got a nice crook to it. You can kind of Is catch that, people you, on the other you side. Carry your powder in there, or were you wearing that? Oh, you always in keep your <laughs> <laughs> always keep your powder dry. Right. I well, don't. This is our hunting show, in case you couldn't figure that yeah. out from the title and this. And the and gun up here that we may take to someone well, <laughs> <laughs> here directly. <laughs> well, anyway. It is our hunting show. Right, and, and uh, uh, I guess we're going to nail the raw skins up to the board. This was left on the table. Um, we have uh, uh, yeah, hammer and nails. Hammer and nails. Put the hide up here. Tan mm -hmm. your hide when you yeah. die, Clyde, and that's it hanging right. on the ship. But anyway, now we also have some letters that came in. Yes. Uh, recently. This just came in by airmail minutes ago. Hi. Saw your show the other day and thought it was great. You guys are really funny. But what's the best thing about it is, is you look like you're having fun, and that's important. That we never have a good time on this show. I hope that your show stays on for a long time. I would, and then requires recipes. P.S. The short guy is cute and can have some recipes for what? For what? For stir. Fr frying. Frying. Oh, Leanne Vans, Van, Van, so, Van S, from Luxembourg, <laughs> oh. Wisconsin. Oh. <laughs> you thought it was one of those skips they were getting from Germany. Well, I want to thank June Groves. <laughs> Groves, I guess it is. <laughs> Groves! <laughs> All right. June Groves and Jesse Mae Phipps, who have written to us mm -hmm. to come to our defense. Apparently, she was watching a rerun and saw the, um, the, that letter, or heard that letter that we re read from that woman in Richmond that is, has relatives in another state in the, <laughs> in the lower Midwest. Uh, anyway, they didn't think anything about our show was funny. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, anyway... Uh, A lot of people have been saying and, that. And said that she was offended by our lack of sanitation here on the set and all that kind of stuff. And so uh, Jesse May and June have come to our defense <laughs> And it told, and it said, tell that woman from Richmond that if she doesn't like your program, all she's got to do is turn it off. She's done been told that at least 16 times uh -huh. for two years. And they keep running that show again where we laid her out. So uh, we thank you for defending us. If she hadn't turned it off by now, she doesn't know where the knob is. We have all of these television cleanliness fanatics. I oh, wonder yes. if they write into those other high price shows. Well, now, like, but I want people to know something. What? I dust my Trinitron every day. Ah! Dear Mr. Bly and Mr. Johnson, in that order, oh. we enjoy your programs, especially the Roman Holiday program. Was that the one where we came in with the toga mm -hmm. and all that? On channel 24 tonight, we watched your program when you made beer bread. We had the same recipe except we added the uh, egg, oh. and it was much better when they added the egg. Thank you two saved us from our lifestyle of eating. <laughs> Your faithful fans and viewers of Laban and Larry's TV program, we love you. Do you have a radio program or a newspaper column? Well, we have a radio program, but they get it at the front secretary's desk and beyond that. We <laughs> it can't doesn't promise go very it. far. Doesn't but it's go very far funny uh, if you could hear us cooking on radio. Maybe it's right exciting. No, no, it's a disc jockey show. Now, you know that. Well, Although I you don't do know. occasionally cook. I'm May we have uh, an autographed photo of you two uh, often? I mean, you two. <laughs> well, what are they, <laughs> like Bono, days. the singer? What also, <laughs> states where you were born. Well, I was born in Wisconsin, Colorado, and Maryland. Uh, Newlyweds. You, your of mother uh, traveled around a lot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
traveling lady. <laughs> Newlyweds of six years of cafeterias and drive through dinners and eat out style. Uh, and it goes on. It says, do you have any picnic recipes? Boy, they really ask for a lot in this I letter. I think they're asking for too much. It says, hot weather, we eat out a lot by parks and lakes and beaches. Well, that's this one. Oh, that's not it. Oh, no, wait a minute. It says, P.S., we viewed frugal. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. We <laughs> Old <Jeff> frugal. frugal. <laughs> <laughs> and he also had to justify the veggies were previously washed prior to the program. And that finger-licking lady is busy correcting you, Lair, and frugal. I wonder if she's a surgical scrub nurse. <laughs> <laughs> we have never written her a fan letter or to Frugal or to Julie Child or Dustin Wilson, Chef Tell <laughs> or Frank Palumbo. Frank Palumbo? <laughs> he, runs a, he runs a, a, a bar down in southeast Rome, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever written I've to him. I've been down there. Well, even, nobody even goes out there. Chefs of New Orleans, San Francisco, all excellent <laughs> teachers of progress, but the cheap Cheap chefs, cooks are very special to <laughs> us. Thank you. And that is from Joanna and Joel Rendell of Fountain Valley, California. Well, thank you thank so you. much. That's we a very sweet it. letter, and it did go on for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go on over here. They never did see the gun, so maybe when yeah. we stand up, we can catch a glimpse. That's of the, the there gun it is on the wall that we, back there. we used uh, when we were doing some of our... Uh, uh, hunting for this show which we're going to oh i forgot yes, let's go because we did we'll go about. out and uh gather the ingredients for today's show as a matter of fact we're going to show you actual footage footage as it were of our hunting for the various ingredients from today's program we actually have this on tape for you to view even as we stand here and so speak, that you can see we us. always travel right. with cameras now now here we are. Uh, you, you That's can hear the some, woods. Well, yeah, you can hear some strange and noises. We're we on to something. We're on to something. So it sounds like a warthog. I'm not uh -huh. sure what it is. And we're crunching around out And I'm the way. one with the hat on. Uh, uh, yes. yes. What did you point that at me for, John? Well, you know, there have been time now. There, oh, quick. Quick you didn't know, you know I could I'm move real, that fast, I'm real, did you? I, That was me. It was me. It was me. Those you were can't move shoes. that fast. You got that bad Yeah, hand. look at that. You can move <laughs> real fast. The biggest thing in the woods. Uh-oh, oh, I think I think they're on to something. Whoops. <laughs> Smack. <laughs> yes, here we go. Look at them fired away. There we go. Oh, we got I knew something. we hit them. We got something. Look at this. Look at this. Look close mm -hmm. up on that. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Here it's some now, not everybody has this kind of luck in the woods. That's right. And we will, you send $60 to Laban and Larry, and we'll send you our, our little hints for how oh. to hunt in the woods. We have a new book coming out about hunting in the woods. Oh, how exciting. Yes. Well, Larry, I have to admit something. What? As everybody will be able to see, we were not able to get any quail. This is humiliating. We're supposed to be doing quail today. What and do you mean, we? I believe it's your recipe. Well, uh, anyway, I, I couldn't. never looked for quail ever in my life. I looked high and low, couldn't even find any if I could have shot it. Went to all of the stores, and everybody was out of it. So we're using very small Cornish game hens. Oh, 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 which look a little like Yeah, them. and I want to show. Your pleasure, double your fun. I anyway. want to show everybody the beginnings of this because there's a lot of prep time in this and I let me start this and then I'll just throw it over to you with your whatever that stuff is. Wow. Well, okay. All right. <laughs> I've got four cups of chopped cabbage in this bowl and I'm now going to crumble up six sticks of bacon. Six sticks. Six sticks. And mix it in with the cabbage. Slices. Six. Slices. What did I say? Sticks. sticks. Well, you know, I had that thick cut bacon. Mm. <laughs> and uh, this is my Cornish game hen. And let me uh, try What's to... What's on the bottom of it? Oh, it's a piece of cabbage. Well, you know. And Where you has that to... thing been? What have you been doing with it? <laughs> well, you have to get down in here and Ooh, oh my pull heavens. the guts out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gracious. Let's see if there's a prize in there. No, but there is a coupon for a, a box of Cracker Jacks. All right. <laughs> and, uh, That's terrible. And you have to salt this little rascal uh, inside there real good. And then you want to put in some ground pepper. 
And this is the same thing that you do with the quail. The only thing is this would, uh, will take a little longer to cook. And now I'm going to stuff this baby with this cabbage and this bacon. Oh, my heavens. Just get on down in there. And then, so let me stuff these two. I notice he's we'll using the night depository. <laughs> 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 I don't know what that means, but anyway, it just seemed funny at the moment. <laughs> Well, anyway, let me do this while and one you of those go banker on uh, birds. <laughs> what? <laughs> Johnson's out of control. What do you want me to do? Uh, Is that uh, it? Make a deposit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it for now. That's it. Okay. All right. Now I have started out today with some fresh, <laughs> some very fresh and, and lovely carrots. The ones. The These are the ones, ones that, that I, I captured. Shot. That's right. Laban shot this with his own gun. And what we have to do is we have to take those and we start out by cutting them ultra thin. And I started out doing it the hard way with my bare fingers and a little knife, and I decided that that was just utterly ridiculous. Actually, Doris Ford decided this for me. She said, we got to get a lot done in a hurry. Do it this way. So we take this. If you want to do it in a hurry, but you got to be very careful. Otherwise, you could be working with nubs at the end of the program. And you see this? Just, you see On that side. And you have to be very careful because you could really hurt yourself. And when you get finished, you end up with a pile of very, very thin, and you want it cut very thin, carrots. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw those into salted, boiling water. Well, good grief. And we're going to what? I think I just found a quarter down in here. <laughs> I need some more water. All my water boiled out while I was sitting around, waiting for the program to go on the air. A lot well, of things water like that. In the have, sink. Well, I know I'm trying to get something. <laughs> this thing is hot. <laughs> this will never get done now, I can tell you that. But that's all right. We're going to eat it if it's raw. Raw carrots never hurt nobody. Never did nothing to anybody. So a little bit of salt in there. There's already some in, but it's been kind of cooked out. Now over here, on this eye, we have some margarine. And I have heated that up. And what we're going to do is we're going to get it real hot and we're going to saute a couple of things very quickly. We are going to saute some minced onion. And I forgot to bring my onion mincer today, so I'm just going to, I'm going to mince it on this thing. This thing just has a multiplicity of uses. So I'm just going to mince it here. Laban, while I'm doing this little preparatory work, maybe you'll want to tell them what you're doing. All right. I believe you're getting ready to tie down something. Uh-huh. <laughs> Silly thing I ever seen in my life. See that's well, minced onion. All right. I, I have got my my Cornish hen over here, and I'm going to wrap it up in these cabbage leaves. Now, you probably would be a good idea to with these cabbage leaves to parboil them a little bit first. But who had that much time today? So I'm just going to uh, try to get by the best I can and tie these little babies up here. Is you getting ready to escape and go somewhere? Uh -huh. or to try to work this around, tie it up real good and tight. So this, this ought to be completely wrapped, but uh, what can you do? And All right. You got to do a couple more. Well, another. yeah, you go ahead. Well, while he's repeating himself, repeat, repeat, repeating himself. R rub, rub. I have my my little zinger. What's this called? A what? zester. A zester. You never can <laughs> zinger <remember> that. <laughs> it's one it's of those things they shoot pathetic. at people, I believe. But anyway, and I'm just taking an, an orange, and I'm taking some of that off, a couple of teaspoon or a tablespoon or whatever, and that goes in there. I've already put my onion in there. You see the onion? That's the onion, minced very fine into the margarine. And we're going to put uh, a little of this orange peel in there. Ooh, it smells so good. It's just going everywhere. It really is. And that should be the greatest of plenty. We're also going to put a little bit of, uh, of uh, I lost my place, uh, dill weed in there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put a, a tablespoon of dill weed in. I'll stick that in just a minute. Meanwhile, the carrots are going along quite 
smartly on top of the stove. And because we did them so thin, they will get finished. We're going to glaze these in a couple of minutes is what it's all oh. about to. All right, back to Laban. All right, now I have got uh, whew, some margine butter here. And uh, I'm going to use two tablespoons over here in the same can, in, or pan, can, pan in which I fried my bacon. A can or a pan, Laban? You seem to be having a little problem for a man who has an extraordinary uh, uh, vocabulary. Vocabulary, I believe, is the word I was trying to say, but I forgot the word. <laughs> it's, it's so anyway. just, oh, it's so sad. When the mind goes, it's just terrible. Well, I don't believe either one of us are doing very well in that no. department now, today. I have, I'm sorry, I have onion in my eye, oh, and I'm no. suffering badly. <laughs> now, I'm putting my birds over here in the pan. Watch now. They're going in here, and oh, that's the silliest thing I've ever seen. And I've got the heat turned up, and I'm going to add now a that's cup right of, music. of chicken broth. Where is my can opener here? What is a can broth? Oh, here's this your favorite, Lair, your can opener from last week. We have got to <laughs> get a better can opener. Well, actually, it's not doing too bad here. Oh, sliced. I would love to know what happened to that other one. I'm peeling some oranges. You know, I wish they'd invent a, an orange well, that I'm had about some to throw kind of, it away again. Some kind of automatically removable. <laughs> Another standing ovation here in the studio for getting the lid off. All right, now I received one I've last got week. a cup of chicken broth, actually a little more than that down in there. And uh, I'm going to put a little more salt, just a tad, down in here. Ooh, that smells so good. And some pepper. That's nice. I'm ripping the navels out of these oranges. And uh, now I'm going to uh, slice coarsely, uh, four carrots, and add those to the uh, pan over here. Oh dear, let me sprinkle these down here among our birds. Now, if these were quail, they would be a lot better. They wouldn't look so ridiculous in the pan. But what can you do? Let me know when I can do something. Well, go ahead. Oh, oh, okay. I was getting real nervous about it. All right, I've taken two oranges, and I have peeled them. And now what I'm doing, I wonder if these are seedless. I doubt if they are. I'm getting ready to, I've peeled them, and now I'm pulling them apart. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do here in a second. What we have to do is we've got to saute these orange slices along with our already sauteing dill, weed, and onions, and carrots. And here's something that I started doing years ago at home when I had to do something like a salad or what have you. Using oranges, I don't like this little piece in there. I take that out and just throw those in there, little orange slices, take the little part of the inside off where the seed normally goes and this one does not have any seeds. If it does I'm sure that Johnson will get them and choke on them and make a big deal out of it at the end of the show. We're going to put two whole oranges in there. Just the little slices. Doesn't that look good? Uh -huh. Do you know that's going to be delightful? Now you know it is Johnson. Admit it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to be delicious. So anyway I'm just going to continue along on those. Okay well while you're doing that I'm going to sprinkle about a quarter, a little more than a quarter of a teaspoon of thyme leaves. And I didn't have time to get outside today, but as you know, I have fresh thyme in my didn't garden. Didn't have time for the thyme, huh? No, not enough. That was so cute. Hasn't got time for the thyme. And I'm also going to put a similar amount of tarragon over here into this and let it, and now that's simmering up. And you need to let this cook until the birds are done. If you were using quail, it would be maybe 20 minutes. But we're not, of course. We're using rock cornish hens, and they should go for a little bit longer. And uh, for those that care, let me show you what it's going to look like when it's finished. 
There they Ooh. are. Isn't that lovely? Uh-huh. Yes, Larry, as a matter of fact, it is. And uh, we'll be serving these little gifts in a little while. And how are you doing over here? Well, I'm doing real fine. What I'm getting ready to do is drain. These have now boiled friskily for several minutes. And I'm going to drain the juice out of them a little bit because that's salted water, and we certainly don't want to... Salty water. Salty water. That's right. And what we've been doing is sauteing all of this mess on top of the stove and heating it up. Now, they suggest you do it the other way, that you pour all of this mess over top of the, uh, of the uh, carrots. I'm going to do it the other way because I don't have any more room. So what we're going to do is heat this all up. When you get finished, you will then put some chopped nuts on top of it. And I've brought along some fine chopped pecans, and I'm going to put those on top of it. So all I'm going to do at this point is just sort of heat it and glaze it a little bit. And that's it. And it should be quite oh, lovely and delightful and, and you know, wonderful maybe, and fabulous. Mayhaps we should look at the recipes. Well, why not? Let's do. And here we go. Hunter's quail. The hunter's quail, four quail, salt and pepper, four cups of uh, shredded cabbage, uh, four slices of bacon fried and crumbled, 16 cabbage leaves, uh, two tablespoons of margarine, a cup of chicken broth, four carrots sliced, and a quarter teaspoon each of thyme and tarragon. And the golden carrots. Par parts unknown. <laughs> Use three tablespoons of margarine, a teaspoon of minced onion, a tablespoon of grated orange peel, a quarter of a cup of chopped nuts. That's the last thing you're going to use, by the way. Two oranges peeled and sliced, a pound of carrots thinly sliced and cooked in a little bit of <clears throat> boiling uh, salt water, and a tablespoon of dill. And that's that. And that's the way it is. I guess we'll have a letter coming oh, in yeah. momentarily. The I lovely Ms. Witch so. said that uh, she did have something for us today that had come in through the While mail. While we're doing that, I'm going to put and, this on uh, the platter. You know that her time is drawing nigh for when uh, we will be conceiving the witch babies. Jim Henson has nothing on us. <laughs> All right, let's see. The witch babies. Uh, <laughs> Sounds like a new movie of uh -huh. some kind. And later on, we'll send it out as an auditorium and arena show. All right. Dear young men, yeah. I have recently moved to this community in Georgia, and I find that my new church has not had a potluck supper for some time, and I'm going to put one on. The church is the sweet surprise of the Holy Redemption, located out on the highway, but please don't use its name because, oh dear, <laughs> because <laughs> the board before. would not take it well and might disassociate me. Uh -huh. Could you send us some recipes so that those who have been living in potluck ignorance for so long might be able to attend the function without shame? Uh. I have to go. The youth choir is practicing up on Here We Stand Like Birds in the Wilderness, which they will sing at the dinner. And that's from Miss Callie Sumner in Fort Baker, South well, Carolina. I swear. <laughs> you may want to take a look at that. And then again, maybe oh, you don't. This oh, is what this looks lovely. like when it all gets finished. There's a startling overhead shot. We're going to go over and taste some of it now. Now, right now we're going to be able to taste some. Here now, let me have your uh, plate over here, Bly, and I'll uh, serve you with one of these. Oh, lovely it's such quail. a small serving, too. <laughs> <laughs> Do I eat the ropes? No, I, I will uh, help you with, assist you with your. Here, let me open your package for you. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get it open. Funny, it worked at home. Well, it's not working here. Well, whether it tastes good or not, you'll never know. Goodbye. <laughs> 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 oh,